All right, welcome back to ADV Revival. This is Gold Mason, and I am joined once again by Colin. Hello. We are covering the uh, lost top 16 sets that were unfortunately uh, erased for a while, and they're back and better than ever. <laughs> Here we have uh, Corante 8, better known as 48, um, and Fakes. Uh, they are playing in top 16, of course, and... Uh, both on, again, an amazing run. Fakes a uh, pretty all-rounder uh, in Mons in general. Actually, 48 as well. So mm -hmm. this is a pretty uh, this is a pretty hype matchup. Um, I don't really remember what happens, uh, even though I watched <laughs> it live. So once again, it's like, as Colin said, rediscovering the, uh, the replays. But here we go. Suicune versus Salomon's lead. That is... Like, the only lead that Salamence doesn't want to face, really. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know it's going to be an offensive Suicune. Switching in Tar straight away is funny, but makes sense, because gets the sand up. Sand up and sc yeah, scouts for, uh, like, a Salic Berry or something like that. Here's the Metagrooms. Such a menace. Absolutely. We probably expected a Magneton on a team like this. Yeah. Skarmory does go yeah. down, gets the spike. Definitely not unexpected. This might be the first time... Well, no, never mind. But, uh... I have a feeling that Fakes' team is like a uh, Metagross Clay Doll or, or a Melodic Clay Doll. Just gives yeah. me that vibe, as always. There's the Metagross. Yeah. Clay Doll last makes a ton of sense. Pretty classic six. <clears throat> I think Quarante ate it, probably running something like a. a yep, there's the Clay Doll. Uh, Quarante that was, <laughs> Wow, that was crazy mash. I thought. And got the raise. Yeah, that was, that was actually crazy because I thought Fakes was just going to. Although, yeah, no. Actually, that was that, that was just really smart, because Fakes doesn't want to spend um, health on his Metagross, because he sees this this is some sort of mega offense. He knows that his Metagross is going to be absolutely crucial uh, for facing stuff just like this. Yeah, this Gyarados. Uh, although, unfortunately, Gyarados is, like, one of the physical attackers that Metagross really doesn't like to face, because it can really only boom on it. Mag is a weird choice here after Gyarados going down. I don't even know that I like trading the Gyarados here. It looked pretty strong. Um, after well, wearing I, a bit the team down a bit more. Yeah, but if if he has like a, a DD Mens as well, now that Tar can't um, can't deal with that. So Toxic Mag is actually really good here. Nothing wants to switch into that Thunderbolt. Yeah, which is <laughs> it's really funny. Blissey is actually very annoying for a lot of these sort of magoffs, so um, Toxic can help because it forces the Blissey out eventually. I you expect know. like a, a Snorlax from Karante 8. Snorlax or Celebi, and then could be a lot of things still. Yeah. If this is a Rest Suicune, then. Yeah. Fakes, it, fakes his only recourse is to boom it with Metagross, which probably plays into 48's game plan. Yep, probably there got. it is. It has not shown Ice Beam, so Summence technically does still... Yeah, and Sleep Talk. Yep, yep. But, but the Mence is a mix Mence, so... It, oh, yeah. It, it really can't do anything except pray to crit. Oh wow! I have been I have been looking at way too many GSC. I expected the Suicune to heal off of that rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that was smart because it forces the Blissey to heal and also catches a Metagross trying to, and now this might just kill. It does. Yep. Now he has to try to crit. <laughs> Like try to is. crit or force it to sleep and then hope can get the boom off. 
they're already exchanging GGs, which, fair enough. Yeah. And the fact that it's a sleep talk Suicune means that the Metagross, um, you know, wasn't even, you know, guaranteed to get a boom off on it anyways. <clears throat> it's kind of just, uh... A classic a good, blue dog good, situation? <laughs> yeah, it's like a good, um example of exactly what these sort of magneton offenses are supposed to do <laughs> like this is just oh per perfect perfectly executed perfectly game planned and yeah that's it well yeah uh blue dog uh, comes back once again and um yeah, I agree with you exactly. I think there's probably like a, uh, a Snorlax Celebi is is another option for sure. Maybe like a Swampert um, for a physical check. I mean, yeah, or even even a, even a D Demons might yeah. have been a better have been a good last there. But Quanche Quan did not even need to show them and is now up one zero against Fakes. A better lead matchup for Fakes this game. Indeed. And just clicks Focus Punch. That can be kind of risky if um, there's a Gengar or the Zap has sub, then you've just kind of given away something about your set. But this is a. Those are some strong Hydro Pumps as well. Yeah. So looking. Offensively invested Swamper. For sure, and it took 50% from that focus punch. So Yeah. Skarm switching into Gengar is interesting, but I guess if you don't have a better Oh no. <laughs> it has fire punch too, wow. Oh wow. Looks like it can live one though. Ooh. Didn't even go that... for the psychic. Yeah, that. It was risky, but clearly paid off. Oh, Fakes is Fakes. making some great reads. Yeah. Forty eight knew that Fakes wasn't gonna risk his Gengar. Yeah. And it's looking when it's looking so good, uh, having a Skarmory switch into it. <laughs> yeah, Skarmory and a and a Celebi. Celebi's kind of low too. Yeah, it's always, scary. It's, all, it's always scary. it's scary when Celebi has to be kind of your thing that checks Gengar because once it gets low enough, it can't can't do it anymore. Indeed, <clears throat> agility zap those hits the field. Very telegraphed hidden power grass with agility. Yeah, but looks like fakes. This could be a uh, arrow last from him, and he the problem with. That team is that it can be kind of difficult to maneuver Dude. around Zapdos, and if it's an ag agility Zapdos, then he really has a problem on his hand, because then, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> it's Ursaring! <laughs> Who? Now, these thing, these Ursarings, they don't carry Shadow Ball. Swords they... dancing on the arrow? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Interesting to bring in the Zapdos. I guess he doesn't have another normal resist. And again, this Zapdos is just claiming. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I think Fakes was hoping to catch an HP Grass there. Because that would have been a pretty safe click from 48, because it would have killed the tar still. This perk did have Protect, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna pass for sure, yeah. Speed invested Celebi just wins here, no? Well, the arrow's at full. I think, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah. So it can just click Don't... its hidden power here. Oh, okay. There was a normal resist. Yeah. And that's why Fakes just clicked double edge there, because he's like, I guess he doesn't have a normal resist, so I'm just gonna do this and punish the Swamper. Um, but he reveals the tar.
balls mm. of steel fake stays in? Nope. No. Yeah. He, <laughs> he has to do this and then hope he can predict correctly. HP grant or uh, bug? Oh, nope. it's flying. Yeah, bug would have nah. been a very safe click, but no. Definitely not looking unwinnable for fakes. No, not at all. He needs to get. I mean, this Gengar is still a huge, huge problem. Um, yeah, even at 36%, it outspeeds everything neutrally. Oh, yeah, that was very nice read. Yeah, I mean, he was either bringing Gengar, he was bringing an arrow, and arrow was threatening to die to that as well. Yeah, um, it was a good mid ground. Obviously, if Perk stays in, it's not ideal, but and that was the offensive Perk fast as well. So it's going to take Swampert down here. Yeah, it's outspeeding you. Ah, protected on the one that went to the left. You know the next one's going to hit? Yeah. Very unfortunate. That was a very interesting game. I liked that. Absolutely. I mean, the, any game with the bear is a good game, I say. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, it's probably Monopert right there. Uh... I don't think. Hmm. BKC Tar. This looks mm -hmm. very similar to the that team from the Kurtz game we just uh, we just narrated. Yep. Lots of toxic protect. That's very fakes. But yeah, I mean it's if you can land the toxic on a pert, and then your tar and your arrow can beast. That's kind of the idea. Absolutely. Well, I mean, congratulations, 48. I mean, we already obviously knew 48 uh, won against fakes, but uh, <laughs> this was but a, this yeah. was a pretty this was a pretty big upset, though. Oh, correct. absolutely. And it wasn't I mean, it wasn't as, um, you know, uh, normally when there's upsets in tournaments, people accuse like hacks or something like that. But it wasn't. Uh, no. This was not one of those games. Weren't no. any uh, crazy crits or anything? In fact, uh, Fakes got the only crit, I believe, against <laughs> the Ursa Ring. So yeah, very good game. Very well played by both. And uh, thank you for joining us for another Lost Top 16 Bracket Stage uh, Revival uh, video. And thank you again, Colin, for narrating with me. Thank you, thank you. Very quick one, and we will see you on the next one. Later.